Um, so I'm going to do a mechanism for um, creating um, the cubic duplicatrix. It's another cubic curve um, seen in this diagram. And most of the this this mechanism's got a lot of sliders. So there's not much that stays fixed. Um, let me. Uh, Go to GX Web here. However, as with many of these, um, many of these mechanisms were having a subsidiary vertical line uh, parallel to the y-axis, and we can specify its distance and its parallelism at the same time uh, with the distance constraint. Um, so the mechanism is rigged. I have a line up through here uh, using sliders. I uh, have another couple of lines uh, this way, whose lengths are not specified. Um, however, the angles are so this angle is constrained to be 90 degrees, and this angle. It's also constrained to be 90 degrees. If we drive it with an angle theta here, let me see what our mechanism is going to do. So, do something like that. So, uh, point B uh, draws the curve. Um, and so there we have it, the cubic duplicatrix, and here's this equation. Uh, straightforward cubic curve. 